Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a traffic stop somewhere in North Carolina where a brand new sovereign citizen is starting to apply the tricks of the trade on a local officer, but it fails to succeed as usual. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yeah, I'm pulling over, dick. Given your clear disdain for the seatbelt law to begin with, which you are about to display, I'm willing to bet that you didn't have it on to begin with, and therefore put it on right before you turned on the camera uh, to fool everybody into thinking that you are in the right here. Oh, by the way, get your engine checked. That doesn't sound too good at all. I mean, I do, but I'm not technically driving, you know? Yeah, you can definitely tell that this is his first time pulling out the Sovereign Citizen spiel. It should be, I am not technically driving. It should be, I am not driving in commerce. That way, it's a little bit more clear as to what your intentions are. And even then, it's still a sorry-ass argument to begin with, which can easily be debunked and has been debunked countless times because you are behind the wheel of a vehicle as a driver, and when you're driving on the public roadways, you're supposed to have all that, that little, all those little things, driver's license, plates, and everything like that. You know the drill. I'm traveling. And uh, I don't think wearing a, not wearing a seatbelt is a crime. It's an infraction. Well, that's kind of like for commercial drivers. No, you know? it's not. You yeah. have to wear your seatbelt. I'm just a man traveling. Well, dude, no, if it was for commercial purposes only, there'd be a, a clear distinction in the law about it. And, uh, well, there is no such distinction. Everybody puts on their seatbelt. I know it's an inconvenience, dude, but go ahead and do it. You'll pay less in fines for doing it. Okay. Don't go nowhere. All right. Back. A little longer than a few minutes later. Sir. Yes, sir. You can be placed on arrest for failing to produce your ID. All right. That's not a law either. Uh, not according to this uh, North Carolina statute right here, dude. You are required to present your license during a traffic stop, and this is indeed a traffic stop. Have you got anything else, Mr. Constitutional Law Scala? It is. No, that's not a law. If I, I only have to produce ID if I'm committing a crime. I haven't yeah, committed a crime. I'm just, stop. I'm not harming it. I'm not harming anyone. I'm just go. traveling. I'm not harming anyone, and you're trying yeah. to charge me $180. Right. Well, I'm going to go back to my car. No. I mean, I'll take and the ticket. If you want to give me the ticket. Produce your ID. Okay. I mean, I'm not consenting to driving. I'm just saying. But I'll give you my ID just so I ain't I trying to that. be threatened with arrest when I've committed no crime. I've done nothing wrong. I don't know if you've ever heard the United States Constitution. Well now, I bet you've never heard of the Constitution either, and I'm talking about the actual Constitution with the Tenth Amendment in it that grants the right, states the rights to, to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. So go look it up, dude. Instead of being spoon-fed all that soft tart garbage. But that's there to stop okay. people from being harassed, you know? I appreciate your cooperation. I'll be right back. Okay. 
And excuse me, sir, if you give me a ticket, I would like to be able to have two copies. I would like to sign it. Sign it? Yeah, if I'm going to contract with you, then... We don't have to sign copies. Well, then I don't want to contract with you, then. Dude, it's not a contract. It's a citation for an infraction, a traffic infraction that is part of the laws of the land. Not a contract, but a law. Five minutes later. Right, Mr. Cannot, there's a citation for the seatbelt. There's a court date up there. It's not mandatory. So, so why, can why can't I sign? Day. Why do you just hand someone a contract that they don't sign? It's not a contract. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a contract. If I take that from you, I'm contracting with you. So you have to take I'd, a citation. I would rather not contract with you. You have to take a citation. You know, you're, it would what save want, us a what lot you wanna, of time. What you want to do with it after... We could, would you get finished with this stop? It's up to you, but you have to take this citation in your possession. It assures me that you know your court date up here. What's the law that says I have to take that? You have to take this citation. Why do I have summer. to? I, I haven't committed any crimes. You do understand that driving is a commercial term, right? Uh, uh, no, dude. Uh, that traveling, not driving, and commercial terms, I mean, you really need to go look in a dictionary. And even Black's Law Dictionary will tell you otherwise. I mean, you just got to pull your head out of your ass and take a look at it from the real world's perspective. And, you know, stop listening to those sovereign citizen gurus uh, whose ad objective it is to fleece you for every dime that you have. And, uh, well, if knowledge is power, well, they'll be powerless if you actually... Uh, know what those terms are. You know, driving is a commercial term, so, you know. If you take your citation, you license, you can go on your way. All right. Oh, you have a safe day, sir. Oh, hey, uh, what's your badge number and... You sure? Fucking asshole. $180. Hundred and eighty fucking dollars. What's the court date? Probably fucking two months from now. Fucking asshole. Trooper D. Lucido, number sixteen oh five. Tyrant ass motherfucker. <coughs> Dude, uh, you don't even know what the meaning of the word tyrant is. A tyrant would have had hauled you out of that car, and well, you would have never been seen again. In fact, I don't think they would have found any pieces of your, uh, self anywhere in the world after that so you got out of this with your life so therefore you did not encounter a tyrant you encountered a law enforcement officer who was doing their job despite having to deal with a complete moron who didn't know anything about the laws or even his rights to begin with so enjoy your court date and enjoy having to pay that fine because of your own damn stupidity. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.